My name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the R&B Money Podcast, The Authority. Yes, sir. <sighs> On R&B. Yeah, let's go to the origins. Oh, my God. Where does R&B thing come from? You know, the, oh, yeah, a lot of R&B yeah, yeah, come from the yeah. Lord. Uh, those, yeah, yeah. those who have been able to be successful and have a long tenure uh, in R&B has been because of the anointing. My God! Uh, uh, we have a guest on today. On today, yeah. my God, um, that is a, the, a standard. Amen. Uh, we, we, we won't say men a standard. It's the standard <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. of all vocals. Oh, my God. I remember watching him on VHS. Wow. Trying to learn how to perfect my vocal to sing like this man. I've been studying this man since I was in high school. Um, one of the most amazing singers I've ever heard in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. him. Him. Mr. Isaac Curry. It's in, yes, the in the building. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah. You take cash out, Zell, what? You all know, of it. Man. All yeah. of it. The church has blessed us. Today. Listen, the church has blessed yeah. us. This is our first gospel artist. Well, let's do this oh, then. Let's wow. start. Can we start off like this? I'll Let us like pray. It. Come on, give us something. Lord, hmm. protect me today because I'm sitting between uh, anointing, heaven and hell, yes. and uh, tank would be the heaven. So cover me <laughs> so that I won't fall astray. Not strays in bad way, but just stray as in Jay is trying to destroy me today. Might catch a stray bullet. <laughs> Cover me, God. Here we go. R&B money. All <laughs> things. The authority. Amen. 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 <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I know. It's him, Tate. It's him. It's him. <laughs> is, is, is he the preacher? What's the, what's the vampire movie? Evil people have. He's ass. It's good. <laughs> and, and it's The Rock you're supposed to do, too? <laughs> oh, Ooh, I, I, thank you for coming, man. man. Thank you. Thank you, my no, brother. Thanks, bro. no, this is an honor, bro. You are, well, yeah, you are a first gospel artist. Wow. But you mean so much wow. to R and B music. Absolutely. So much. Yeah. I mean, I'm just I can I'm just speaking on my life alone. Wow. Like literally high school watching you, skipping school. Well, you're aging watch. me, Tank. You're aging me. No, no. I mean, we're, we're, we're close to the same age. You just started earlier than me. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, you were at a different level you than was I was at school your age. for the gospel? Absolutely. For the Lord, of course. We would, we would well, leave. Y'all cut school. For we would the... cut school, make my gospel group, and we would go back to my, to, to my guy Mike's house, and we would watch New Life. We would watch them. I went further. He cut school. I quit school to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did, huh? I dropped out of school my 11th grade year to sing gospel to get music. To get to it. To get to it. The Lord. Don't had, do the that, Lord kids. Don't do that. <laughs> don't don't Bro, do that. Finish. You are but, part yeah. of my you are part of my DNA makeup musically. Wow. Completely. Honored, bro. So I am I am I am honored. Well, this is the great this is the great evolution when the teacher then becomes a student. Wow. Because my brother, when I tell you, from well, maybe I deserve hmm. to this present moment. Yeah. You have shifted the trajectory of the way male vocals sing. Hmm. You know, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's special, bro. And you have a lot. You know, you have you you have people who love good singing and know what they consider to be good singing. You know, people who can sing. Right. You know, and huge you, difference. You, it's a huge difference huge between difference. somebody that can sing and somebody who can sing, mm -hmm. uh, who can fit in both worlds. Yeah. Because a lot of people can't come from R and B and do gospel. A lot of people, from that place, though. Most people can't come from gospel and do the R&B. Comes That's across true. a little corny, a little cheesy, a little, all right, go back to the Lord. <laughs> go back to the, <laughs> the Lord needs you back. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Exit stage right. That took, but, a, that, that took a minute. Yeah, but you have been able to uh, master both of them, bro, and I appreciate that. So when I listen to you say that to me, it's like, as we homies and everything, but I'm like, I'm a fan, man. Bro, you, you're, you're right here in the hand. It's only wow. five fingers. Wow. You're in the hand. So, you know, 
this of course is celebratory, as me, me and my brother Jay like to do. Like we, we got to give you all the flowers. Wow. That I know every singer that we know mm -hmm. is is throwing at you right now as they watch this. Wow. So, I know the beginning, <laughs> but everybody else doesn't know the beginning. We like to start at the beginning. Got gotcha. you. When did somebody say to you, or somebody say to one of your family members? That boy Isaac got a voice on him. I'm telling you right now, that boy can sing. He can sing. Sure enough, can sing. I tell you, the Lord is all over him. He's all over him. He going to end up on a song with R. Kelly. He going to end up on a song with... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shots fired again. You pray for this. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. <laughs> Only my good brother Jay Valentine can do this to me because... Wow. And you see, when was and then that? I went right back to the wall. The beginning. When, when was it? It was, it was my mom, man. Wow. Yo, God rest her soul. She yeah. just passed away about uh, three months ago now, and uh, and it was, it, it, it was, it, it, it was, it broke me. Uh, I'm in grief counseling even as I speak, yes, uh, just to get through the process. But it was my mom. My mama was a beast of a singer. Mm -hmm. Oh, she could sing, bro. I'm talking about. I'm talking about a little Clark sisters sprinkled in with a little Kimberell sprinkled and in where with a from? little Shirley Caesar. Uh, we from Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay, mm -hmm. shout okay. out to that the borough. Sense. That makes sense. And um, and so my mother was a local giant, giant bro. So she made us sing. First of all, I hated singing. When I was growing up, church wasn't cool. Hmm. Church wasn't cool. It, 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 it was. Church boy, choir boy. Oh, I saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my mother was like a local celebrity, so she had her own show called Gospel Expo, which was a local version of Bobby Jones Gospel. Oh wow! Oh, you really grew up in it. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, what happened was she made us go on TV and sing. From, we're no from choice here. Oh yeah, six. I got the videos. I got the videos. Me and my babies. Terrible. <laughs> Trash. I'm talking about. <laughs> It's terrible, bro. <laughs> and she was like, hey, you better not mess up. Hold your head up. Open your mouth. Pronounce your words. That ain't right. Yeah. And I'm yeah. sitting there, tears rolling down my eyes. Shut up and sing. How you shut up and sing, mama? <laughs> you got to do both. You, you got to do both. You figure it out. out. You better figure, you better it out. figure it out. Figure it out. We and talk about that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Figure it out. And it was that upbringing, and I hated it. I wanted to be cool. I wanted to play ball. I wanted to, I, play, mm -hmm. I played basketball. I played football. I wanted to be cool. I love the girls. And it was church, singing. Church and singing. You go to school. You can play, you can play the sports, but you're going to church. You know, and uh, it was that. And I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I resented it. And it's amazing when you fast forward from that moment to now, the very thing that I hated is the thing that supports me and my family. Period. And the people mm -hmm. that, uh, that I undergird and that, that, that rock with me. So... Uh, it was my mama, man, and my mom knew John P. Key. My mom used to bring John, before he put the P in his name, when he was just John Key, my mom used to bring John on his show because he lived in Durham, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And he used to come up and do her show. And so he saw me growing up. So he was like, Nancy. And she was like, I know, I know, I know. And so they saw it, but you didn't see it. Oh, no, I hated it. Yeah, I'm talking about mad. And the thing that changed my life was it wasn't John. John was the person who gave me an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Commission changed my life. Wow. That was the first group ever in my life that made gospel singing look cool. 100% agree. The hair, the hair, the parts, 100% the, the colors, sound, the sound, everything. the harmonies, they were so Drippy, they were so they were they were fresh, bro. And I was like, oh. And my mama was not only a TV host, but she was a radio announcer. So back in the day, all the gospel artists used to have to come through there, and gospel and the radio announcers would get tickets to oh, sort out. I had all this. Oh, so I was on front yeah. row of everybody concert. So I'm on the front row when Commission comes to Greensboro, North Carolina, at United Ooh, Holy Church on Highway 29, Ooh. and I'm sitting there. And again, this before John P. Key was John P. Key. John used to be a keyboard player in commission. He traveled on the road with them. No way. Oh, bro, ask him. He played keys. So when commission came to Greensboro, Michael Brooks is on one keyboard. 
John P. Key is on another no keyboard. No way, I Fred didn't Hammond know that. Fred on the bass, Michael Williams on the drums, That's Keith, Carl, Mitch. Crazy. Oh yeah. Oh bro. I did not know that. Yeah. So I'm on the front row, like in awe. I'm like, I want to do this. And when the concert was over, I had I had access, bro. Mm -hmm. it's like, see, it's it's about it's not it's not really about how good you are. It's about who you know. Mm -hmm. It's about the relationships you have and the Play favor that you have. Part. And I was able to go backstage. And I walked up to Fred Hammond, and, I, and we laugh about it to this day. He don't really remember. I walked up to that man, looked him dead in his eye, and said, will y'all ever start a junior commission? And he patted me on my head and laughed. And that started it all for me. So as I grew in a few more years, as my gift developed, John called, brought me in, met Lowell with John, and then the and rest how old are you at this point? I'm 16. I'm 16. I'm 16. So I drop out my 11th grade year. Hold up. How old are you now? 49. Okay. Yeah, I'm 49. Okay, so I'm 46. I'm just trying to count yeah. the years. So if you were 16, okay. Yeah, All right, so I'm 49 it. now. So I was 16. Uh, my mother went to a church conference in Memphis, Tennessee, Church of God in Christ Convention. Of course. And uh, she went, and my mother made a deal with me. She said, you can sing with John, because John lived in Charlotte at this, mm -hmm. at this time. So I would have to drive, me and my homeboy used to have to drive Marcus Dawson. Shout out, he's the Bishop Jake's... Uh, organ player. Back now he is. Back then he was my neighbor, mm -hmm. homeboy. And we used to drive to Charlotte, get on the bus, go do a weekend, because we traveled on weekends. Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday, back home Sunday night. My mama says, as long as you get up on Monday mornings to go to school, you can do it. The first time you don't get up on a, on a Monday morning to go to school, you're done. You're done. Yeah. No, it ain't nothing to talk about. Yeah. It's not non, it's, it's just a non-negotiable. Okay, mama, I'm good. I, I, I'm going to get up, I promise. So at first, Three weeks, I got up. <laughs> but I was getting home at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on Sunday nights coming from a city and then yeah. have to drive an hour right, back to Greensboro. Right. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I got to be up because I yeah. still play sports. I got tutorial. Oh, wow. And I don't want to go to school, mama. Okay, cool. But then you don't want to sing no more. Not with him. And my mother went out of town for a church convention. And I went out of town and I went to Charlotte. And I packed my stuff and I never came back. At what age? 16. Wait, you ran away? What? Yeah. I ran away, moved to Charlotte, dropped out of school, never went back to Greensboro, and I was in Charlotte for four years. Who, who's you staying with? John. Wait, wait, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he is watching this and he is dying. <laughs> he is dying right now because he knows exactly how this went down. Your mama don't come looking for you? No, she calling, calling, calling. We don't know cell phones back then. Right, right. No, that's a so, yeah. way different time, yeah, yeah. of course. So 30 she, years ago. Yeah, so she called and called and called, and I, I think privately it was never revealed to me at that time. John called her and was like, I got him. Nancy, I got him. Right, because this was also her friend. Also her friend. Right. She said, it wasn't like you just ran off. She said, John, take care of my traveling boy. traveling circus. John, take care of my boy. Um, I got him. Yeah. And so I didn't know that, though. Oh, so wow. I would not call home. You're just call. nervous. I'm this whole scared. time you scared. Because yeah. yeah. if scared. I talk to my mom and I hear her voice, you're I'm going, going you're home. You're out. You're going home. <laughs> I'm going, <laughs> home. <laughs> going home. So I didn't call her for like, I want to say, maybe a month and a half, two months, which is a long time back then. Man. A long time now. Yeah. Dog, she, she just passed away too. I want the month, two months back. I wish yeah. I could get that back. Yeah. But I didn't call her, man, because I knew if I heard her voice, I was going home. Yeah. And uh, so when I did call her, she was like, Go to school. Her main concern was, I trust who you with. You got to go to school. Never went to school. Because it's your junior year, too. Yeah, my junior year. Yeah. And um, we hit that road, bro. And this was at the height of John P. Key and New Life. So you talking about, he had just come off the heels of, it will be all right. Yeah, yeah. It will be. He come up there into... Uh, wash, wash me, me. Jesus ah! real, and then when Jesus ah! real, when, when, he, was, he was waiting on that with one. the blue <laughs> and the mustard. Hey, listen, the mustard and the blue. We like literally. I'm not making this up. I'm not lying. People would chase our tour bus, bro. These kids. John is responsible for the youth movement that was introduced in the church. Period. Not Kirk, and Kirk says that. Period. Mm -hmm. John. John started it. All. Started. The youth revolution. We wore, we looked like you. We sang your songs. He was from the street. We danced like y'all. Yeah, he, his story. He was the first guy that was like. So even though he was older and he could appeal to mama and them and grandma and them. He appealed to us too. He appealed to us, but then he had us appeal to 
Yeah. Our own right, years right, right, our right. own generation. So it was masterful the way he did it, the way he put it together, bro. And um, it formed that that trio. You know, we was we were special, bro. Me, Lowell, and John, we were special. We were special together. It was it was fresh, it was unheard of, it was uncut. Nobody was doing it. It was different. Y'all was 16, 17 years yeah, old? Yeah, Lowell was a little older. So Lowell's probably like 20, 21. I think he's like three, he's like four years older than me, I think. So he was a little older, but yeah, we was kids, man. And it wasn't about the money, it wasn't about none of that. We was just like, we want to hit that road, bro. Y'all was having fun. We was having fun, bro. We was having fun. Bro, we was packing out. We was packing out places. People were, we would get to cities late sometime. They'd wait. They'd wait. Oh, it was bad, bro. It They'd was wait. bad. Yeah. I mean, it was bad, bad. And so I got a chance to see up close how John um just cultivated people who weren't used to seeing gospel presented in that way. Because mm -hmm. you know, it was a little more traditional. You know, the Hawkins and Andre Crouch mm -hmm. and, and the, even the Colossus was a little edgy because they had they had uh they had an R and B mainstream mm -hmm. uh, audience. Right. Yeah. But John started a youth movement. We had never seen kids excited yeah. about church. Yeah. Until John P. Key came on the scene. So what was how did you view John vocally? And was that a major part of your development in terms of your vocal? Because when I first time I ever saw John in concert, mm -hmm. it was the first time I ever seen somebody flawlessly, flawlessly sing a show from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Had never ever didn't know that was possible. Yeah, he's the first person I ever saw do that. Mm -hmm. And of course, y'all back there, and then you harmonize. I mm -hmm. want to love you, and, yeah. and I'm like, you know. Losing our minds, right? But was he very, very instrumental in the development of of your vocal? Hundred um, percent. My singing style was completely different than his, so uh, I didn't lean into more of singing like John, mm -hmm. more so than the 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 teachable moments he taught me. Like I, I never forget to this day. I use this. I promise to God. Mm -hmm. I've been singing professionally for 32, 33 years now, and I do this to this day because he told me, I'll never forget, we was on the bus, and I sang, and I think I crashed and burned. Mm -hmm. I was fresh with him, maybe my first few months with him, and I was on the bus crying. I was a kid, man. Mm -hmm. I was broken. Yeah. And uh, he said, we'll get him tomorrow. He said, always think before you sing. He said, don't be a singer be a thinking singer. This is a thinking man's game. Know where you're going before you get there. Mm. Register your notes in your mind. You have to have a lot of stuff going on in your mind at the same time before anything comes out your mouth. It's going to help you with your pitch. It's going to help you with your tone, your tonality. It's going to help you with everything. Think. And that thing stuck with me to this day, bro. I, if I'm getting a song, you know, sometimes you start a song and that the first note sets the tone. Absolutely. So I'm like, I'm telling all my little secrets, which ain't no big deal, but I'll, I'll be like, you know, making sure... Get there, get there first before yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm on yeah. it. You're already on it, yeah. Because I've already I, I I I processed it and now I'm on it. Yeah. And then I think so. It's like I wasn't Jordan. Jordan was the type of athlete that Jordan would create while in he's the in the air. Mm -hmm. No, I knew what I was gonna do before yeah, I got there. Move already. Yeah. So if I'm a boom 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 do, I'm gonna straighten this out. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And I already know where I'm going. It 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 helped me. It helped me eliminate a lot of crashes. <laughs> a lot of accidents. Yeah. Right. A lot of vocal. We watched a lot of guys crash. Yeah. yeah. Because they, they just go for what they know. Now yeah. you have we call a, them daredevils. Daredevils. Now That's what you have call. anomalies. Yeah. The greatest anomaly of our day right now doing that is Zacardi Cortez. Jeez. He's the Michael Jordan of vocals. He's amazing. He's the Michael <laughs> Jordan <laughs> of he did, male yeah. vocals he, in he any genre. Incredible. He's acting up. Anything that he opens his mouth to do, he he, he just He'll does. Figure it out. Now some yeah, more. You yeah, got Daryl yeah. Walls from the Walls Group. Mm -hmm. You got Jane Moore. We just finished talking about. Oof. But and it's yeah. weird because all three of them from Houston, Texas. It's something really? in the water over there. It's something in the water in Houston. Yeah. All of them from Houston. But you have people like them. I'm not them. I think before I sing. Mm -hmm. And I calculate. So John taught me that, and he really honed the gift. He taught me the difference between singing live and singing in the studio, because it's different. Of course. Scared the crap out of me the first time I put some headphones on, had to hear myself back. I'm like, yo, this is... He taught me. So those are the things I got from John. Lowell, I think, leaned more on how John, John sang. Right. 
you know, yeah. that's the why heavy, you got the heaviness, the heaviness, yeah. the growl. My mm-hmm. voice couldn't handle that. Ah, I couldn't handle that. John Back did it. Then it couldn't. Yeah. You grew into it though. I did. Uh, you know, it's like it's like when Jordan stopped going to the hole. <laughs> you know, Kobe starts shooting threes. He starts shooting jump. Yeah, that's your fade away. Your body can't yeah. handle. So yeah. it's like you adjust your game. When my range started decreasing, because you know I still, you know, people are like, "Oh, you sing high?" No, no, I could hit a high note. I ain't staying there. See, when mm. I was young, I used to live there. Oh, you absolutely did. I used to stay there. That's and the, then don't give us that. Yeah. But now it's yeah, he, now yeah. I'm a. He just did it like that. Oh, and get out of there. I'm gonna hit it and get out of there. I ain't staying there. People like Cardi, all them jokers, they live there. I'm old, This is bro. why we don't invite gospel singers. That's why you, you see what he doing, they just RB money. Off. You see what he doing? This yeah, RB yeah, money. Just going, you know. He's pouring holly water on us. Usually yeah, they pour, pour champagne. But okay, so can I, make it, can I say something? First of all, <laughs> Jay light skin with pretty skin and pretty hair. <laughs> Tank got all his muscles on display. Keep them out. Can I sing? That's all. <laughs> can I sing? I, I, just, I mean, can I have a gift? Y'all got everything. Can I have one? I, I, I just need it. Can the church say amen? Can the church say amen? Amen. 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 You can see. You can see. You can see. Yeah. So that was for me, man, and I, and it, it it cultivated my gift. And then what helped me was I listened to your Donny Hathaways, your Stevie Wonders. Not in my mama's house though. Couldn't listen to nothing. That, none of that. No secular music at never. your mom's house at all. Ne- you said what? never. No, bro. You don't think she ever listened to nothing? Never. No. 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 no, no, no. You gotta understand. She heard it. Of course. But it didn't play in my house. Right. Right, right, right. One of her favorite singers was Charlie Wilson. Oh, my God. We all love Uncle Charlie. You know. Uncle Charlie. But she didn't make that known. But she never played in the house. She she would hear that on radio station before she do her show because it was was multiple. But, yeah, no. No gospel music. No none of that. I mean, no no, no R&B, no hip-hop, no rap, for sure. Nothing. Nothing but gospel music in my house. Period. It's all a group. So I had to sneak. I had to sneak and listen, and that's when I listened to your know, Donny Hathaways and your Stevie Wonders and and all these cats growing up, and I was like, oh, it's levels to this thing. Yeah, oh, it's levels to this thing. Yeah, you know, because I had I had the Daryl Coley's. Yeah, I had the John P. Keys. I mm-hmm. had the Marvin Winans. Remember Kimberly McFarland? Come on, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. Just throwing out some names. Same, same yeah. with the Milton Brunson and Thompson yeah, Community singers, yeah, bro. Absolutely. You know, yeah. you had you had that your curvy Browns who used to mm-hmm. sing with Hezekiah Walker. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, he, he had was, that hey, squall. He was, and he was high, he, but he was like, ah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. So you had. I'm about to start naming pimps in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's your reference point. That's your reference point. <laughs> That's what I'm about to start naming. <laughs> you had to feel more slim. Yeah. <laughs> Don the Bishop Juan. Rest in peace to Kenny Red, man. Yeah, Rest in peace, Kenny Red. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, my God. Man. So I had that, but bro, when I start hearing, see, gospel music goes for blood. We all, this is how we, we all gas, no break. Yeah. Yes. I never get. Jay, yeah. Jay bless me. He don't even know. He helped me tremendously I in 20... He definitely said something crazy because you're crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I had to cut through the the, the rawness of it and it and shifted the, the trajectory yeah. of how I process music and how I approach music now. Jay said to me, I think it was 2019, I was playing some music for him that I had coming out. And Jay was like, we don't got to talk about it. You can sing, nigga. You can sing. But you got to pull back. I said, what you mean? He said, bro, people can't comprehend all that. Mm. They can't comprehend all that. You have to balance that out. Hit them, hit it when it's needed, but don't live there, bro. He said, you got to balance that out. And it helped me approach, you know, I'm a runner, bro. I was known for doing runs, doing my riffs, you know. And uh, and when Jay said that, I was like, yo, as a singer doing this 30 years at the time, I, I'm still learning. Yeah. And you got to have a teachable spirit. So when he said it, yeah, for sure. it was like, he don't even realize that it changed everything for me. I had a, a girl yeah, did right. it to me. Yeah. Word? I was, I was on the phone playing her a song that I wrote. Okay. 
with my key, you know, I had my keyboard, my track plan, and I really liked her. I'm just, uh, you know, verse, hook, and then the hook. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you just going for it. through the whole song. Like, I'm just giving you everything I have. You know what I'm saying? I had John Rolodex, Kim Rolodex, oh your Rolodex. <laughs> you I dialed got, it up. Uh, Daryl Coley, I'm dialing all of the Rolodex. I would have been her little brother in the back, like, who is the ghost you on the phone with? <laughs> <laughs> Pull that nigga back there with all that diarrhea on the road. Look, I finished singing a song and I'm so proud of my song and I'm singing to the girl. I'm like, what you think? She's like, she's like, you can sing, but you just you do too many runs. I don't even know, I don't even know what you're saying. Like I Yo, just, she said that? And I was like, You know, remember that noise on 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 uh on uh, social media like, bah! Make that noise like that. <laughs> I do too many runs. She broke your spirit. Runs are everything. Runs. I can do every run. Run right, his life. Run. I can, I'm, I'm running for my life. You know? <laughs> Literally. Y'all trying to double tap for me. <laughs> I'm running for my life. Yeah, she said you do too many runs. You do too many. And listen, when she said it, she said it, I was, I was hurt. I was in my feelings because you know in the DMV, DC, yeah, uh, I'm the guy. Uh, absolutely, me and my group, we're the guys, mm -hmm. and it, it's because we run so crazy. Yeah. yeah. When she said that, it broke me down so crazy that I was like, I was like, I was like, do I do too many runs? Okay. You and talk it, to yourself at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it made me dive into Fred Hammond. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And for a year, I didn't do no runs. I said, what would Fred do? Ooh. So I did for a year. And that's why you have the balance. See, I think the greatest misconception that anybody could have is just because I don't do it doesn't mean I can't I do can't. it. There it yeah. is. No, no, absolutely. Yep. You know, and even like, for, for singers that believe because they don't do it that somehow it doesn't come across that they can sing. Yes. And see, I have to blame one of my mentors for that. Kimberell is responsible for all of this. Oh. She's the greatest, in my opinion. This is me. She's no, 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 definitely no, no. my favorite. She's definitely Our. Uh, yeah, she's definitely my Mount, Mount Rushmore. She's one of the greatest voices yeah. of all time. Ever. Easy. She's easy money. But Kim, when Kim presented that to the world, no everybody yeah, yeah. wanted it to do it. That was the measuring stick. On I mean, whether you can, you can sing. sing or not. It wasn't tone. It wasn't yeah. pitch. Yeah. It wasn't placement. Mm -hmm. It was none of those things. It was Kim Burrell. Yeah. And it it's not her fault. Kim is no. Kim. But I think her she was. Her gift. Kim was. Kim was. Kim is the first of her kind. Yeah. She is. She is the blueprint and the foundation 100%. of what she is. Like you know the 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 well, pattern that she used, like yeah. she just used some different patterns that we had never heard yes. go together before, and I was like, what is, what is that? Like, yeah. uh, uh, wash me, yeah, uh, uh, um, Vanessa with, Bell, no, 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 um, no, her song with Trinity, oh, her song. Trinity Temple, Full Trinity Gospel Trinity Temple, Mascot. yes, yeah, in Dallas. When, when Kirk was writing, yes, down. come on, Tank, and, and and when she sang that, da, 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 I was like, oh, yeah. what, yeah. You had never heard those patterns never. go together, bro. It never. It was, like, it was a cadence, bro. Bro, it was so it was, yeah. and it was so different to singers. It was mesmerizing, and 100%. we had to learn. Had to. It. Yeah. We had to learn it. I, I, I'll venture out to say that for me, there's only two gospel artists that I've ever not just learned their songs or their verses or their hooks, but I learned their ad libs. I learned oh, yeah. everything. Yeah, that was commissioned because that—that's the group that's responsible for me uh, wanting to do music. Mm -hmm. And Kim Burrell, I knew every ad lib. Now I wasn't dumb enough to try it on my own because I—I'm I, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. But I, I can sing along to this day with any song, any song that Kim did, any album, ad lib, riffs, runs, the things that people, the average person don't hear. Right. I hear it. Right. And it's like, and it helped, but it helped. It helped morph something even into in me. But I'm wise enough to understand that everybody don't look good in everything, mm. and everybody can't do everything. Mm. Absolutely. So you have to know, you have to find, like, I, 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 it's nothing wrong with being a copycat as long as you're copying the right cat, right? But at the, at, at the end of the day, I never, I, one of the greatest compliments I ever had was, you have a unique voice. I don't hear anybody that sounds like you. It's because 
I'm intentional about I want the world to know who Isaac is. Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to be compared to he sounds like to such he and sounds such. like and I'm and I'm yeah. not knocking anybody who gets that. But for me it was a it was a unique thing and so it morphed and and, and led every decision I made vocally and even how I move now. It's like that. But Kim was Yeah, but there's special. something about knowing when someone comes in, when they when when they come in on the song. Mm. In a group, in a yeah. anything like there's just so, there's just something to that, and that individuality of being able to carve out a space of no, that's such and such. As soon as yes. that soon first as note is hit, mm-hmm. yes, something special with that. It is, man. And I'm with, I've always been either winning. I've been willing to win or lose with that. Okay, I want my voice to be my voice. A hundred. I don't want like. Yes, are there pieces of my voice that I feel like sound like someone else's? Mm-hmm. I have little things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I sound like me, good or bad. Sound good like or me. bad. And like you gotta me. be able to live with that. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of people can't. No, no. Yeah, they, they they'll hide it. under someone else's voice. Yeah, for but, sure. But that's culture, though. That, mm-hmm. that that's not just in singing. That's in fashion. That's mm-hmm. in how we do a lot of things. It's like we are a carbon copy of of what we. Want to be yeah. versus mm-hmm. leaning into who yeah. you are. All you little yeah. Chris Browns got to relax. Yeah, Chris Brown is Chris Brown. Period. Okay? One. By I, himself. I don't want to hear yeah. you sounding like Mm-mm. it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, man. Get your own voice. It's like I love Please. the uniqueness of people because that's that. It's a compliment that it says to me, I believe in me, even if you don't. Yeah. And I'm I'm bold enough to take this path because I'm gonna make you know me one day. Yeah. And mm. and people that work hard at that, yeah. they cut through. Yeah. It's like, oh, I was sleeping on that song, but he got some over here. You know, and, yeah. and you and you gotta know how to grab all of the information. Yeah. And with all of that information, that is how you ultimately build yourself. A hundred percent. Grabbing those pieces from all of those different moments and knowing again what you said, which is so perfect, what fits you. Yes. Yeah. Every every vocal technicality doesn't work for, for your you. voice. It yeah. doesn't work for you. Yeah. So Get out of my there. question to you, Tank. My question to you is you've listened to so many people. You named them, the gospel artists, all that, the mainstream artists. But yet and still, bro, I hear Tank. I never hear you and be like, man, that's a Daryl Coley run. Oh, that's like something I would do. I've never, ever from the First song to this present album that I have, and I listen to all Tank's records. I want all the church people to know that <laughs> uh, in January I would have been married twenty years. <laughs> right, uh, I will be married twenty years, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, yeah. and I never, never, ever uh, had a uh, had a prayer meeting with my wife off of uh, a gospel song. Come on, talk about it. So talk about Tank it. has been very instrumental talk in my real. ministry. Hallelujah. And you're keeping me married. So God bless <laughs> you, man. Of God. That's my job. God bless you, man. Of God. <laughs> <laughs> but what is that, bro? <clears throat> Um, it's, it's, it's our podcast. We supposed to be interviewing him, but I'm no, gonna no, answer. No, 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 I'm gonna no, answer no, a question. Listen, man. I'm gonna answer a question. We, if y'all passing the flowers, all y'all got, all y'all getting flowers. We, th- this is just a flower pot. It's what I, it's what I just said. It's all the pieces of John, um, Daryl, Isaac, Lowell, Eric Dawkins, Oof. Jesus, um, Kim Burrell, of mm. course. I named one, Kimberly McFarland, very yes. sneaky. Um, Fred Hammond. Mm. My quiet favorite, my quiet two favorite pieces of my vocal. Come on. Uh, Mitchell Jones, mm. Stokely. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Um, it's grabbing, it's all of those, it's grabbing a piece from all of those people. Uh, a, whether it be a texture, um, whether it be a cadence, um, whether it be a, a, a rhythm, uh, all of just one little thing mm-hmm. from all of them yeah. to build me. And so, and if you if you if you re-listen to everything, you'll hear all of those people. Mm. So you can't you can't you can't you can't narrow me down yeah. into one person because within run, within one run, I'm going to do four different people. Wow. Hmm. That's clever, bro. Yeah. That's clever. You know what I'm saying? I kind of got the same path. I kind of got the same path, bro. I, honestly, because when I think about it, I'm not going to be arrogant and act like I came up with this on my own. You know, I'm standing on the shoulders of so many great singers, yeah. 
uh, both gospel and mainstream. And it's like, bro, it's like building a vocal. It's like yep. build a bear. It's yep. like yeah. building a vocal. Yeah. Yep. It's like I got a I got the arm of of Donny Hathaway. I got the the leg of 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 of. Stevie, Uncle oh, don't Charlie don't is my Don't worry elbow. about that. We're going to get to We're going to get we're going to get to your Voltron. Yeah, we're going to oh, get yeah, to yeah. your Voltron. So, it's like for me, it's like it's so cleverly done, but I'm going to tell you the I'm going to tell you the, the 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 dopeness of that that methodology. It's how you do all of that and still find a way for you to cut through. Right. That's the genius in that. Yeah, you don't right. lose yourself. You don't lose yourself. It's like I take this 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 but God still gave me a gift, which which leads me to this and I have to say this. Uh, I came for two reasons. I came to, to, to share with you guys, but I got to say something to you. I got to say something to you. First thing to you, uh, man of God. Amen. Uh, man, what? You man, got a gift. Man of God. Man of God. Yeah. I can't, I can't know you're next. But. Yo, you're next. <laughs> because, what, see, see. You, you, what, Split your, this up, man. No, your, your, yours come. Yours come uh, no, no, finish, finish. Yours finish. have a, a special anointing on it. Okay. Different kind of oil. Yeah, different kind of oil. <laughs> Little handy on it. <laughs> Any oil? Any oil? I like it. I like Tank, it. God gave you an amazing gift. Yes, sir. And I think it's lightweight, uh, selfish, and um, kind of uh, bold for you to take it away from us. Mm. I don't think it's fair. I understand evolution, but I don't think you have to stop a thing to start something fresh. Bro, I need you to recant this whole retirement thing. You don't understand music is at an all-time decline. It's changing, and we can't afford to lose greatness. So you need to talk to your wife, talk to Jay, and y'all figure out how, how can I still do this on my own terms, when I can, around the time that I can, other things I'm trying to evolve and get into and do. But, bro, that's God's gift. You can't cut God's gift off. You can't cut. You can't say God gave me this, and I'm go now cut. No, you can't do that. Hmm. Now you can't do that. So y'all talk about that later. Now you man of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got you. I love it. Now you man of God. <laughs> Jay, I, I I appreciate you. Jay is Jay is a silent person that has kept me literally moving in a pack. That's we're well, moving away from a pack that's traditionally going in one direction in terms of what I do on my side of music gospel. Uh, Jay is the person I call for ideas, concepts. I bounce things off of him. And, bro, you don't understand, like, how much insight you've given me. Like, if I could afford you, I probably would have hired just my manager. But uh, me, the way my bank account set up is it don't work like that. And then, you know. You see the shirt. Huh? You see the shirt. Yeah, no. Silk and leather. It's, it's very Silk expensive. and leather together. Yeah, it's like... Slather. <laughs> Slather. <laughs> have a slippery skin. It matches your skin, though. It's all shiny. You know? But Jay is, bro, Jay has not only uh, given me insight on the music side, but the entrepreneurial side, bro, you open my eyes and open my mind. And I believe, that, that, see, to me, I'm always a student, bro. I never get to a place where I can't learn from somebody. And... It's, it's invaluable. Money, I, I, I couldn't have enough money to pay you for the things that you've given me. Mm -hmm. And I, I've literally walked these things out and I'm reaping the benefits of just, because uh, me and Jay don't talk a lot, but we talk, we talk, yeah. we talk, we might talk an hour Extensive. and a half. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk, yeah. we're going to talk about three, four months. But when we talk, he dropping knowledge, he dropping gems, he dropping bombs. And I'm like, bro, and I just wanted to like openly just say, bro, I thank you. Nah, man. No, don't course, say no, bro. man. Just say okay. Let's say you I'ma say how I'ma say it, brother. Jay, you ain't too light skinned <laughs> to get slapped by a church boy. <laughs> now just say I'm thank you. Cut your church hat. <laughs> Everybody wants Jay. <laughs> he keep I it on him. I wanna keep I wanna he say keep, I wanna He see, keep it on him. You better leave him alone. See, I know. I wanna see Jay get mad. You better you keep it on him. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you. You welcome, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, seriously, no. All, all jokes aside, um, for the people that I truly care about, which you are one of them, mm. bro, I, I'll give whatever knowledge that I possibly have or whatever ideas that I possibly have, and you know, I, I appreciate the fact that 
my my career is gone in 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 a very I I'll get odd is the best way that I can put my mm -hmm. career path is you know it's 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 not straight lined at all. Mm -hmm. And I've been able to be helpful to people who were already established. Mm. And that's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even tough for, for me to even, at times when I'm realizing, like, I'm being very honest with someone who's already accomplished Ooh, something. That's good. And that's a hard place to be in at times because you're just like, are they really going to listen to me? Mm -hmm. And these are my friends, but I can't be anybody but myself. Yeah. And I have to, and I, you know, these are all things that will go through my mind. Wow. Where I'm like, I know I probably should sugarcoat right now. <laughs> But it ain't in me. But it's not in me, one. And I don't think that they called me for that. A hundred percent. I think they called me or asked me for what my opinion yeah. truly you is. Yeah. You're never going to get a watered down version from Jay. Yeah. No. It's going to be what it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. And 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 you appreciate it, bro. It's like, it's, it's invaluable, bro. Like, I just think people, I, I say this all the time. Everybody wants to shine, but nobody wants to buff. I've Man. never heard that. Yeah. Man, me everybody want to shine. Everybody want to be yeah. lights, camera, action. Yeah. But the buffing is the work, bro. Yeah, it's the work you got to put in to get that shine on that shoe. Yeah. yeah, and so it's like, bro, it's it's that buffing thing that produces the shine. It produces, you know, I I, I see jail TV, front row, courtside, foot on the wood, and I'm a, you know I'm a dumb nigga. I'm gonna call him. <laughs> yeah, why I'm there? Why he there? <laughs> and he on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you're the game. I see you. I see you. Yeah, nigga. I'll call you out of the game. Bye. But, but sure. I do that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I think the, the, the thing that blesses me is he answers. Yeah. For sure. Okay. He answers, bro. Yeah. For sure. And if he don't answer, he going to call me back. Yeah. yeah. That is the small things. Tank don't answer. That is not true. No, no Tank don't answer. That's, that that's, is no, not tank. true. My pastor says it like this. My pastor, that is a Darius lie Dance. from the pit of hell. Pastor says he like went this. and got his phone. He said, he said, well, he picked up his phone. He <laughs> said, we're not going to sanitize this thing to make it look good for TV. No, we're going to call it a spade. A spade. Tank, don't answer I the phone. I do. Now, when, I do. when you see Tank, he going to be consistent. Yes. yes. He going he to show you love. Mm -hmm. He ain't never Hollywood. I don't care who around. No. He is the most genuine. But that phone... He ain't gonna answer. Yeah, yeah. That is not true. No, you, you got your moments. You got your moments. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. Only time I don't answer my phone is if my wife don't let me. But that's it. I call you when you're not with Gina. Zena, sorry. Don't think Ooh, about Martin. Better, I'm edit, thinking about Martin. Edit. <laughs> edit. <laughs> edit. <laughs> edit. That's talking about me stabbing Zena, a church nigga. Please edit that. <laughs> please edit that. I call you when you ain't with Zena, bro. That's not true. Zena was not in Atlanta when you had your show, and I called you, and you didn't answer. That's not true. Tank, you know the Bible says that all liars, and you say some, and you say a few, it says all liars. Shall Amen, but what I believe uh -huh. uh, to be the truth is uh -huh. what I subscribe to. Mm -hmm. Amen, there's your side of the story, there's my side of the story, and we will meet somewhere in the middle. Well, the Bible, I'm talking about the Bible. Yeah. And it's, not, it's a non-negotiable book. version? Who this is King James Version. The, the, one, that, the one that played for the Lakers? Wow. This is <laughs> This is not true. <laughs> R and B money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to you. Yeah, man. I just um, had to do that, man. No, so thank you. Thank you, brother. Love you, you brother. Love y'all, man. For sure. Man. Um talk about your transition from, you know. From you, you're with John. You, mm -hmm. you guys are beyond successful, um, and deciding, hey, maybe there should, maybe there should be a group. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe <laughs> Lowell. Maybe we should put something together and and venture out on our own and have our own success. What is the thought process going? Yeah, that was a hard transition, man. Because uh, you know, uh, I believe that sometimes you can stay in the nest too long. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you can leave too soon. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's yeah. a curse in both of them. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's all about timing. timing. Mm -hmm. It's all about timing, right? So when we when we did it, it was scary. Uh, John had taught us enough. We knew enough. We saw enough to feel like we can try a hand at this. 
So the concept behind our group was, and we talked about it all the time, Lowell was a huge whining fan, which, which I am too, but he was a huge whining fan. He preferred the whinings over commission. I was a huge commission fan. I preferred commission we, over we, whining. We should have an intervention so, with him on that, but that's what the court keep going. Say it again? We should have an intervention with him on that, but that's 100%. fine. 100%. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah. get to him. But the thing was, we were like, how can we make this the best of both worlds? Yeah. Let's be a group that can do what the whinings do. Because also, watch this, the whinings couldn't do what commission could do. Hmm. And commission couldn't do what they did. They yeah. were in the same city, paving and trailing the same road. They were literally in two different lanes. For sure. The whinings were more churchy, Marvin, hmm. all gas, no break. He coming for you. Yeah. Commission was harmony. Finesse. And finesse and swaggy. Yeah. And what '90s R&B would become? Absolutely. What Absolutely. '90s R? Listen, all y'all that love '90s R&B, yeah, man, that, uh, talk about it. Come on, that, man. Uh, Boys, y'all love it, all live them. it. Go back and listen to Commission. You will get everything that you've been looking for. I'm telling you. So the harmonies, the acapellas, the the chants. So, so I was like, yo, let's merge the two worlds. No group has ever been the best version of both of them. Mm -hmm. So that was our concept. I think when Men Standard came out in 1996, we didn't realize that we were two years till male groups kind of phasing out. Hmm. Male, Even in gospel? Uh-huh. Because most male groups were traditional. Okay. Uh... Because Commission, when we started, Commission was kind of afraid it already left, mm -hmm. uh, or was leaving, uh, and the whiners were kind of, you know, chilling a little bit. So we were trying to fill this void, and music was evolving. Kirk was on the scene. So you had, you had somebody who was the biggest gospel artist. And y'all couldn't dance? We couldn't dance, and he couldn't sing. You know what? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk, you know I love you. You know what? Kirk what about is a great expressionist. He's he Yo. expresses his thought well. That's one of my closest friends in the world. Like he is my Kirk mentor. Be gigging. He is he that be guy. Gigging. He knows every new dance that comes out. I was mad at Kirk when he first came out. Why? Because I had tried to do that very thing he was doing three years earlier. But you couldn't dance. I could dance. <laughs> He could dance like Kirk. Kirk can't dance either. Kirk can't dance. I'm not rolling with you on that. Kirk can definitely Kirk dance. know all Kirk the new dances. cannot dance. That is... What you not going to do you is call talk that about dancing? You, 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 we you, we you ain't going to talk about... Kirk I, I, you ain't going to talk about no man who... I, I said to Kirk's face. Tank. Kirk, you can't dance. Tank, can I say this? You, you know, be he, moving. He buff now, too, so you better watch it. You be moving. He don't want no smoke. Tank, can I say this? You're not going to talk about a grown man that can literally sit on the sofa and swing his legs. Man, I don't know even know what that means. What I'm <laughs> his feet don't touch the ground. So what I'm <laughs> you not gonna do? He it. was trying to let you get out of there. <laughs> you... I'm gonna say it. I had to, I had to, I had to be clear. He Kirk, is not Omarion. None of this Kirk no, is he not Omarion. He cannot. He's, he... he's Kirk. Kirk is not doing choreography. Kirk, Kirk can groove. He can oh, groove. Kirk. He can't dance. All right. So listen. So anyway, right. back no, to no, what no, I said. No, no, no. Before, before that though, before that though, y'all not do that to Kirk. No, 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 no. Not y'all. Tank. Tank. And you, because you you going too. I'm going to say from outside of the church, Kurt Franklin made us pay attention. A hundred percent. thousand percent. He made us pay attention. Like, flat out, when Stump, Get out of they here. played at the club. They yep. literally played at the club. They played it everywhere. Yep. Everywhere. You know what I mean? Before and that, bro, reason why we sang. But Stump was that. No, but I'm Stump saying. Stump was that one that shifted right. like, everything. I know that record, yeah. but I'm talking about that really grabbed a hold uh, of everybody. everybody. Yeah. Correct. Everybody. It just we didn't even listen to it as a gospel record until you really listened. It was like, oh okay. Yeah. But the groove was so it was, it was it was it was like it was, was, it was just smacking. it was just crazy. something different and it was something refreshing. Yeah. It was it a was. gospel music workshop somewhere mm -hmm. and and Hezekiah had just went on. Ooh. And Kirk was following him. Mm. And That's a at, crazy at this time, I was still a little bit in wow. my feelings because I was like, I was the first was person him. to try to merge <laughs> R&B and hip hop and gospel, and it didn't work. And <laughs> it didn't work. The lights so went had, out. The church so, was too old. So I had to take my shirt off. Couldn't handle the power. Here I am today. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, and, and so Hezekiah is going crazy. Hit 
mad. Hit factory, bro. Going crazy. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm in, my, in my mind, I'm like, what is Kurt getting ready to do after this? Ooh. You know, because I'm still, still feeling my way about him. Yeah. And Kirk doesn't say. He said, "You guys, have, y'all have heard enough singing. Now that your now that your hearts and minds are ready to receive, let me tell you something." And he went there. Someone asked a question. He didn't sing. Yeah. He he ministered. He talked while they sang. Yeah. He ministered for thirty minutes, and killed them. Oh, killed me. Yeah. Yeah. I went from you know. Having my own feelings uh-huh. about my own disappointments yeah, yeah, yeah. to receiving yeah, man. a real message. He got that hate out your heart. He got he Ooh. listen, he got the hate out my heart. Hate out your heart. Out my heart. I was like, one I time for Kurt Franklin. Come on, what? Man. A oh, few oh, times man. for Kurt Franklin. Yes, sir. Uh, he He's changed, amazing. He changed your life, but all jokes aside, bro, he changed mine. Yeah. He changed my life. I I I can honestly say the man I am today is because of Kurt Franklin. Yeah. The husband. The the man I am, the 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 openness, the business that I learned, this man has literally changed my life, bro. Because he was the first artist that cared more about me than he cared about my gift. Mm. Mm. He would literally call me like, yo, you good? How your family? How you doing? Like, no, no, not singing, not music. How you doing? What? <laughs> I'm straight. No, no, no. And 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 Doug, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. dug. It's yeah. like, oh. And years of that, bro, it's just like, he a good dude, bro. He a good dude. Yeah. They, 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 they come no better. They come no better. I'm I'm blessed to be able to pick up the phone and call him. And he answered the phone and we yeah. talk and we chop it up, we laugh. We have a, such a balanced relationship, bro. So I know that feeling of yeah. like looking at somebody. And he even says, bro, he, he pulled me one time, bro. He said, Isaac, look what God has done. With a nigga that don't even sing. He said, bro, this blows in an industry where it was birth off singing. Mm. It was birth off singing, bro. And so that's when you know uh, the power of what God can do through somebody's gift. When you're yeah. called. When you call yeah. and you're chosen, bro, yeah. it doesn't have to line up with the way that people Wait. feel like it has to line up. Yeah. Yeah. It, see, one thing I learned about people a long time ago is people don't want you to do what you want to do. They really don't want you to even walk the path that God has for you. They want you to do what they want what you they to do. They want you to fit in their box. In their box. Absolutely. And as soon as you don't, oh, yeah, they, they ain't ready. They, uh, no, no. This is the road that I'm on. And when you believe in it, I remember pastors cutting the mic off on Kirk and the family, bro. Oh, we ain't having all that dancing and gyrating in our church. Cut the mics off, kicking them out of churches. No way. I promise to God, bro. Kicking them out of churches, turning the mic off, embarrassing him, and he kept going. So when that man get on stage, and he letting all of it out. Oh, bro, bro, and he never forgets. He's never comfortable. He's never, bro. I've seen it up close and personal. He don't play about his gift, cause he's like, yo. God want me, but he don't need me. Mm. He can use anybody. So I think when you take it for granted, bro, that's when it's kind of like zapped from you or that grace is zapped from you or, the, or that favor. Like, bro, what you doing, what y'all doing in an industry that's transitioning <laughs> from album sales and how many albums did you sell? What was your first week sale? To streaming and, bro, it's unprecedented. Mm-hmm. And people wondering why why they ain't doing this? Why ain't they doing this? It's favorite, bro. It's like y'all have tapped into something that y'all believe in. You found your niche, and it's working. So all that stuff it are the things that I try to remember, bro. Yeah. Because I, I just realized, man, that I may never get to the pinnacle of what people consider success. But success for me is fulfillment, man, and walking in my purpose. 100%. Yep. You know, it's like, yo, you look at success as a Grammy, and those things are amazing. Those things are great. Those accolades are incredible. I love them. But at the end of the day, bro, I know a lot of people who got Grammys that are unfulfilled, that are not happy. Yeah. And money. And money. And money. Yeah. My pastor said this, bro. He said money is not even the top five things. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You saw that clip? Yeah, I saw that clip. Yeah. Changed my life, bro. He was yeah. like, if I told you I'd give you a million dollars today, 
but you got to die tomorrow, would you take the million? No. No. If I told you I'd give you a million dollars a day and your mama was going to pass, would you take no. it? No. That means, that means relationships mean more. If I told you I'd give a million dollars and you have to be sick for the rest of your life and you couldn't enjoy it, that means health. It's so many things, so many things yeah. that's more important than money. It's, it's, it's good to have. We, mm -hmm. know that, we know the importance of it, but it's prioritizing, it's purpose, and it's walking and being fulfilled, living a, a life where it's like, yo, I do this, bro. And I did this, and I and I can I can take a moment, pat myself on the back, and say we did we did this. Yeah. Now let's keep going. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's don't live there. Let's just keep going. So those are the lessons I've learned, man. And I am a byproduct of all of those people that poured not just musical tips into my life, mm -hmm. but wisdom. And uh, and I'm I think I've been called to sing, but also to be a bridge. Uh to help people get from this place to that place. So that's that I, I think that's what my purpose is, bro. Yeah. So and men are cool standard. It. Yeah, man. So men are standard. Surround me, oh Lord. Yeah. I have <laughs> Oof, that was a commission meets the wine. Mm -hmm. And I put the group together. And now, is this the first time you're in the business of gospel music? Or were you in the business of gospel music when you were with John P. Key or was he just protecting y'all, y'all with him. He taking care yeah, of y'all, no, y'all straight. No, yo, he did that. That this was the first time. We was so this is the first time y'all experiencing. And we didn't know Jack. So y'all experiencing the business. Oof. How is the gospel music business? If you can be as candid, I mean, I, I know you're gonna be candid because you, you Isaac, and I, I, I you, I, <laughs> you know how you roll. This, this is where it stops. You're Isaac. <laughs> That's a good I, question. How is the gospel? How music is the business? gospel music? Because I don't know anything about mm -hmm. the gospel music business. Like I had, I remember having a conversation with my brother, mm -hmm. who was going from doing secular music mm -hmm. to sacred, which I've learned in the last. I, I didn't know that Come term. On, I didn't know sec, secular and sacred. Don't you say just, that? Don't you What did I? You ain't learning. It's like you went to Bible study. Come on, man. <laughs> a brother can read. Definitely can that read. That I can do. Right. <laughs> so, but I remember having a conversation mm -hmm. with my brother and him being like Jay. You know, I need you to help me with something, and I, I was like, Bob, I, I, it's no way in the world. I don't. I just those are two different businesses. Mm -hmm. Now I may know somebody in R and B that may be connected to something in gospel, right. but those you you gonna have to go fully learn that world yeah. that I have no idea and I have no I have no stake in that world. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I I I just I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. So to answer that question. A contract is a contract. Of course. So the same gospel contracts that 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 labels present is probably the same contracts that y'all get. Just the money is significantly different. <laughs> it's like night and day. So okay. tanks, tanks, tanks budget when there were budgets and we would labels mm -hmm. was considerably like night and day, like one end of the world to the other end. So are they pretty much telling y'all yeah, yeah, this is for the Lord? No, not the not not. Because I know that's what they was telling Tank when he was playing. No, no, not week. the not the <laughs> not church. not the business of gospel. So when you talk about labels, <laughs> they still function as a label. Yeah. They still give you contracts. They still give you terrible contracts. That how can you give someone a terrible contract in gospel? Because this, because the people who own the companies are not Christians, or they're just successful rich people that inherited this business mm -hmm. that hire people. To say we're gonna do an inspirational uh uh label. So there isn't necessarily a conscience when it comes no, no, to No, no, no. Yeah. So you might you might look up and get a believer or a Christian that is your label exec that understands the nuances of what it takes to do this. They they move with a little more compassion. But the contract comes from some come from come a, from a rich business owner who's yeah. been owning the company for years that's like it's about money for me. I don't care about it. So, it, it, it's, so these labels are such and such gospel, such and such gospel. Instead of it just being a gospel label, period. No, ran by gospel. The the only people. gospel label that I knew that started from where it was the, where the owner was gospel. The owner was gospel all the way down to everybody who worked was um, gospel centric. That's the label that Kurt Franklin oh, yeah, was on. Yeah, I heard Vicky yeah. Mack. Mm -hmm. um, they, yeah. She owned it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was a believer, her, mm -hmm. her husband. For sure. Um, but, you know, when 
money happens and things happen and other people get their hands in it, uh, it can change the trajectory of how you see it. So it can still get sticky. Yeah. So I don't want to, I don't, this is the thing I don't want to do. I don't want to act like because we're gospel that we don't have real life issues and we don't do unethical things because we do, because we're people. Yeah. I think what killed, what messes that up with people's minds is the way we present ourselves. We present ourselves as self-righteous. We're better than you. Oh, you going to hell if you do this. Oh, look at what, he, what look what he's thinking about. He don't know Jesus. He going to hell. But then when you find out, you been you been cheating on your wife. You been you been stealing from the orphan plate. Yeah. But you talking about her? You talking about him? That's when it gets sticky, and that's when you start hearing people say stuff like, oh, "I don't fool with the church. I don't know, man. That church stuff. No, I'm good." I'm good right here. Yeah. That's what it is. You have, you know, everybody ain't bad. You have bad people that do bad things, even in the name of the Lord. So it's tough. Yeah. So it's not a gospel thing. It's not like, how can a gospel label? It's like, it's still business. At the end of the day, uh, I say it like this the gospel is free, but ministry costs. Mm. You want to just sing for the Lord? Go to anybody's church. Yeah. You go to any church or any corner and sing for the right. Lord. But if there's investment. But if there's an investment, you have to understand that there is a return on the investment that they made in you. There's, an, there's attorneys. There should be negotiations. And a lot of times, in, in our case, Minister Standard, we didn't know. So we signed the contract because we was happy. Yeah. Hmm. And we got got. We got got bad. And wow. when we got an attorney to get out the deal, we had to sue him. And it went through a whole thing. It was bad, man. But it's like, if you, this is my whole thing. Okay, I'm dumb. I signed a contract. I didn't read it. I didn't understand the nuances of the business. That's on me. Okay. But if I'm honoring my bad contract, you ain't then go rate me on top of the fact that you already got me. Wow. Yeah. And then you got to go double down on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if, you, if, I, if, I'm, if, if I'm rocking out. <laughs> you ain't going to double down on it. Yeah, it's like, oh, we already getting them. Golly. But, because they done, we go get them again. No, 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 you gotta go do that. That's what we gotta go. That's why we gotta go to court. Yeah, and we did that, and you know, we won and we got our deal and all that good stuff or whatever. But so it's bad people that do bad things, right, even right, in the right. church. But it's not a. I don't think it's a church issue or a gospel issue. It's just it's a business, man. Yeah, and I, is there? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, is there? Like, there's a full, because obviously. When you're when you're breaking a, a gospel artist, yeah. Like when you're being broken as a gospel mm -hmm. artist, is there a path for that as well? Is there like certain churches around the country that y'all go to that's just like okay, if we if we get it cracking mm -hmm. at, yeah, yeah, it used to be New Fat ba uh, yeah, yeah. Baptist, yeah. Uh, it used Did you to say be. New Fat Baptist, no, no, faith? New, new Faith Baptist, no. New Faith. You trying to say New Birth? I wasn't. No, he was just, he was <laughs> just making up a church. Yeah, yeah New oh, Faith Jay, Baptist made a church. At least give me a, have a reference point. Love the church. I don't have any. You, you don't have any. The, you ever heard of Potter's House? I have no idea. What Bishop T.D. Jakes? Is that the books? Bishop T.D. Jakes? Yeah, I know. Harry Potter! <laughs> oh my God, this man <laughs> is out of control. Yo. Well, in San Francisco, we got the Christian Center. Right. Okay, there it is. Yeah, we got the Christian Center. But, no, but even, even yes, there, there was a time. no one was coming... Men of Standard wasn't coming to San Francisco to do the Christian Center. Mm -hmm. I don't ever remember hearing commission coming to the Christian Center yeah. or, you know what I mean? Like, I just. Yeah. That was a time where there were churches that were very, 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 very beneficial that if I did their church on a Sunday morning. And I rocked out. And I rocked out. Watch I'm, it. Here it is. I can go to the lobby and sell my CDs. Hmm. And then you oh. got, and then you got your, you got your, you got your sound scan sheets. Yeah. Of course. That. If you got a like church, in day. it's churches yeah. in Atlanta, bro. They got 10,000 seaters, yeah. sanctuaries yeah. that was packing them out and doing three services a Sunday. Yeah. So that's 30,000 30, people. people. Yeah. So if you sell a portion, yeah. psh, your first week sales. That's arena. That's, a, that's an arena. That's your first week sales. Because, yeah. you know, I mean, it ain't And you're going to do every service? They're going to book you for every service? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then watch this. If I promote my album, you ain't got to pay me. You let me sell my CDs. Cause it's a promotional day, yeah. For me, yeah. So let me get my CDs. The label get that cut. I get a cut from the CDs. So I still right. make some money. And I gave the church a free performance. Gave the church a free performance, and it was very beneficial until the churches started saying, "Oh, we want a piece of that." That joke sold fifteen thousand CDs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got to sell it to the bookstore, and we got to. 
because they wanted a piece. Need a piece. So it started changing. The business kicks in. The business kicks in. Yeah. The business kicks in. And, and new faith. The Baptist merch business. That, yeah. Did I make up that a new church? New faith. Never Baptist? heard of new faith, but I'm sure it's. Yeah, I'm sure it's a new faith. I, I, I would have. There's a new. I wouldn't have it, you anything. Do you feel me, church? No, no, it's not. Okay, whatever. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> This is the only episode that this man wanna be church, <laughs> and you still not. It is a new faith. <laughs> new church. faith church. I'm telling I've you, heard of that place it's a new Pastor faith. Jay Valentine. It's a new faith Holla church at somewhere. Your boy, um, I, I could put I, that on the, those signs that'll be outside when you drive yeah. by. At the church, no, I can't put that on there. I, I hey, you gonna have Pastor your whole Jay congregation? Valentine, your Holla whole congregation your go be go be women, and they ain't gonna be good for you. Why not? Because temptation is because women much bring men. And now we have a congregation. He back to pimping. You don't hear it? God, dog. <laughs> you don't hear it. You see why I'm looking at you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to get back to pimping. It's going to get back to pimping. It's always going to get back to pimping. <laughs> I think my, my, my early experience in the church kind of made me feel like like just what you said. This there, is, here we go. There, this there, is what I want to hear. There are, <laughs> this is what I want to hear. Mm -mm. I want to hear this, bro. There I mean, I'm not going to go into detail. But no, no, no. Just, but I, I, need, I need, just give me a, uh, a brief synopsis without going deep. I want to know what, what it was. Who hurt you? There it is. I didn't want to say a word, but. <laughs> hey, man. This, 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 this really is a, this really an intervention for you. You too. <laughs> John, Kurt hurt you. Who hurt you? <laughs> Kurt hurt you. He was mad at Kirk. He was mad at Kurt. Um, no, um, my home church. My home church had a problem paying me so that I could okay. live. Okay. To do, you know, to do the three Lord's choirs work. and services and, you know, not now two services. They had a hard time seeing why it was necessary to pay me more than Oof. $50 or $75 a Sunday. Wow. So that was at the start of that. Um, then there was um, a guy who became a mentor who, um, had me make an entire album, help had me help him make an entire album, and took all the publishing and production credit, even even mine. Um, <laughs> and then and then we walk outside of church one day, and he's beating his wife. Um, and then, um, you know, you know, I'm I'm in a group, and I'm like, guys, I have a vision. God is telling me, like, after I go to an immature concert. We can't follow three kids, even with the message that we have that is more important because we're not showing out for God. Mm. We just standing behind these microphones and doing just enough to get by. So these kids showing out. That's why they can fill this arena with thousands and thousands of people. Mm. We can't get 100 people in the church. And this is for God. God don't deserve lights. Mm. He don't deserve dancers. He don't deserve, like, we should be giving our all. Yeah. And we did a performance and it, di and it didn't work. More. I was telling you, the, yeah, the, the church couldn't handle the power. Light yeah. shut down, track shut down, everything. Begin the show. We finished the show. I played the piano, finished the show. And they came back to me and said, yeah, that wasn't God. That was you. Ooh. Yeah. You just wanted to be seen. Oh, wow. God ain't in all this mess. Mm. They walked away from it. And I was like. Can we pause right there? Let's yeah. A, uh, as a preacher would say, let's put a quarter in the meter and park right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look into this. Is this my camera? Yeah. This is my camera. Uh, let's look into the camera, Jay. I'm going to look into my camera and I'm going to say this. Uh, where are you now? I want to know the way those young men are. You're watching R&B Money. See, this is my issue. We have gifts and talents that we run away because of religiosity beliefs that don't line up with how God actually sees us. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from him. Mm. He's the creator of all things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if he created you, it's in his image and it's in his likeness. I hate the fact that so many stories end like yours. Yeah. You right, are. Right, because a lot of them end. Bro, yes, you are a gift that was birthed in the church, thousand percent, and because you were mishandled, and 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 rebuked is mm -hmm. the is the proper terminology. Yeah. It broke you. His was crazy though. Prophet Todd Hall, who I then, names. 
Huh? You call the names on R&B money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay. You call the names. Jay. Who, I, who I would then mm-hmm. um, open up for okay. when he would come to DC. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. That's crazy. That's my, that's my guy. And he, he was the person who told me, it won't be in here. Ooh, sound like him. It's going to be out there. Yep. Sit that in front of the entire congregation. 100%. You will not, God is sending you out there to do yeah. something different. Yeah, man. And that was the first time I'd heard that. I didn't even understand, didn't even understand what that meant. Because at that time, I was like, man, if I can't say Jesus, I ain't doing it. Wow. And that started my journey into R&B music. That's amazing, bro. Yeah, that's amazing. And uh, I'm, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to go out on, on a limb to say uh, some of these bites, uh, especially from me, will be clipped and reposted. On some church blogs, <laughs> <laughs> some of these with, some, with some headlines, uh, Isaac Caree went over there to R and B Money with Tank and Jay Valentine and compromising and talking about the church and trying to make the church look bad. Why can't you just stay down? I'm gonna get all of it. Yeah, and I'm here for it. Of it is what it is because the truth is the truth, no matter whether you like it or not. Right? Yeah. Uh, I feel like um, we have done that to so many people. We have we are responsible, bro, for telling people. That was an artist that, that told Beyonce she was going to hell. Absolutely. To her face. Absolutely. That's wild. You're going to hell. Absolutely, yeah. Um, How? Uh, the list goes on and on and on, bro. Incredible. And what happens is these people are broken. Now, they have you know their scriptures that they're going to lean on. Uh, I'm just not a proponent to believe that. Uh, I see, I feel like church has created this country club. Hmm. If you don't do it like I do it, if you don't do it this way, if you don't say it this way, if it doesn't look like this, if it's not packaged like this, then you're not one of us. You can't come in until we need you to come on our show for ratings, Hmm. until we need you to help get our numbers up. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, bro, you can have a relationship with God and not sing gospel music. I just believe that. Absolutely. And there are, there are people who completely 100% disagree with me. I, 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 I don't, I'm not into, I don't really care that much to argue about it. It's just my belief system. I believe that you, that's what, that leads me to this. And I'm, I'm sorry, let me, let me, let me apologize for, uh, to, to you for them. It's terrible, bro, that the church has been responsible for doing people amazing gifts like you, like that, bro. And... It's 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 not even how, it's not God didn't hang out with the religious people, bro. Mm-hmm. He didn't rock with the perfect person that dressed right and got it all right. He rocked with the pimps. He rocked with did the, he just yeah I did. He rocked with the wow. hoes. He rocked with the thieves. He rocked with a man, a man killed another man's another woman's husband just so he can sleep with her. Absolutely David. did. Man after God's and God own said, heart. You're a man after my own heart. I don't understand how we have painted this picture that you have to be this in order to get this. Mm-hmm. It's weird yeah. to me. And, you know, to each his own, it is what it is. Um, but, bro, when I tell you where we're going and where the world is now, now you see people, everybody's backpedaling now. Yeah. You hear less judgment. Mm-hmm. You hear, you know, you hear, you hear less of that. Now it's, oh, we love everybody. Oh, everybody. Well, it's, it should have always been like that. It should have always been like that. It should have always. Why did society have to shift, and you start shifting only because you were afraid to get canceled, you were afraid to get exposed, you were afraid to get called out. So now, I just feel like it did us a disservice. Um, but there are a lot of great pastors, a lot of great churches, a lot of great believers and leaders that are changing the narrative of that. Mm-hmm, for sure. You know, pastors like my pastor, Pastor Darius Daniels and Pastor Jamal Bryan. And, mm-hmm. you know, when Kanye was able to even come to these churches to do their thing, uh, Charles Jenkins and so many pastors have an open mind. They understand that, bro, it's not about just the four walls, man. It's like we got to reach the world. I didn't learn any, I didn't learn about myself until I left those four walls. So come on, Tank. I, I leave church. 
I achieve rehearsal. I minister of music at my guy's church. I leave rehearsal, get on a plane, fly to L.A. to sing backgrounds with Genuine. Wow. And, you know, get hired for the lead job. And, and I learn more about myself in a summer Yay! than I had ever learned inside of those four walls. Can I bless you, bro? So in 2017, I got a call from uh, LaShawn Daniels, God rest his soul, rest in peace yeah, is. I absolutely. Right. Missed that peace. brother, man. He called me, he was like, Ike, he, he was living in LA at the time, him in April. I'm, I'm on my way to Puff House, I got a play for you. I might got a play, I, she is, I might have a play for you. Stay by your phone, gotcha, gotcha. Then I get a call from Adam Blackstone, shout out to the homie. Mm -hmm. And uh, he great called guy. me. And then the third call I got was Puff. Now mind you, I'm a church boy. I know a lot of people, a lot of people kind of know me or know my, you know, oh, they don't know me, but they know the voice, right? It's like, when Puff called, I'm, I'm like everybody, this ain't Puff. But then I'd heard that voice, because that's a distinct yeah. voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playboy. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, definitely hit you, Playboy. And he hit me and was like, yo, 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 <clears throat> I keep hearing your name, man. I keep hearing you the best, man. And I only rock with the best. I only rock with the best, man. You know, that man, that man told me, he said, I'm about to do this Bad Boy reunion tour. And I was trying to get the Clock Sisters. I wanted the Clock Sisters to do background for me. But they said that ain't, they said that ain't gonna work, so I, I, I want the best, man. They said, you're the best, can you fly to LA? I was like, okay, what you want me to do? You know, the, the, me and my naive, I'm like, you you want me to open up for the bad boy tour? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a song artist. They're like, pipe down, playboy, no. Relax. <laughs> Relax, Doc. Relax, oh, Doc. Oh, man, this guy here. <laughs> three Nobody letters for you. Three, I, got three, I got three letters Nobody for you. Go home BGB. BGB. <laughs> <laughs> now, Tate, here we go. I'm established, bro. I'm 20 plus years in the game. I got solo albums. I sang with Minister Stan. I sang with John B. Key. I sang with Kurt. Yeah. I got a resume, bro. Yeah, yeah. The people know me. For sure. I'm a frontliner at you, this point. You are a frontliner, yeah. And this man called me to ask me to do background yeah. for one of the biggest hip hop urban tours. Yeah. So I had to make a decision. <laughs> do I say no because I'm afraid what church people gonna say about me? Or do I say yes because I feel like that this is a God opportunity and I may not understand it today but somewhere around the around the road, mm -hmm. that light gonna come on and it's, and it's gonna connect the dots for me. Yeah. So I was like, I'll be there. He flew me to Beverly Hills, went to his house. I'm in awe, like, God, but I mean, I'm chill though. I, you know, yeah. I'm chill. Like, yeah, I've seen this kind of thing before. Never seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> and he like, and the first thing he said to me shifted everything for me. I'm going going somewhere. He said, I know who you are, I know what you do. I'll never ask you to do anything that compromises what you believe. That's mm. what Puff said to me. He dapped me up. He says, go to work. Fast forward, two years later, Adam Blackstone, one of the most giving brothers, he called me and said, Ike, I need you to go to Nashville tomorrow. This is what this man called me. He said, I need you to go to Nashville tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to give you the address. Go in here. He said, I need you to learn these two songs. This is what he said. Learn these two songs, sing them on a videotape, and send it to me. All right, cool. I had never, I heard the songs, but I wasn't familiar, but I, I ain't never auditioned for nothing in my life. Thank God. I ain't saying that arrogantly. I just never had to. Mm -hmm. I did it. He called me next day. I need you to go to Nashville. And uh, his address, walk in his office. He said, when you walk into the office, look to the left. No, he said, look to the right. Look to the right. Take a picture of what you see. Hmm. Audition. When you get in your car, call me. I'm like, all right, cool. Ain't none of this making sense, but he's so, <laughs> he quick. He moving. Yeah. I got to go. I'll hit you later. Cool. I get to Nashville, walk in there, take the picture, go in there, audition, do my couple songs. I'm on my way to the airport back to Atlanta. By the time I get on the plane, they call me like, you got the job. The picture was two 10, 12, 11 foot posters, banners of two years of tour dates with Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Two years. Two a two-year year tour called Soul to Soul. Me and my wife build a home off that tour of me doing background vocals. Yeah. The more of the story is this. If I do what people want me to do. Come on. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. You know, I'm going to go to your church. Come on. <laughs> you keep going. You keep going. If I follow, Come on, champ. If I follow the path of what people want me to do, Come on, I would have been stuck in the four walls. 
And I asked God, like, after all these years, why would you expose me to this now? Hmm. And he gave me two answers, and it was way after the tours. He was like, number one, I knew now you could handle it. Hmm. But number two, I needed you to see something over here that you ain't going to see over here. And I need you to bring it back and expose it and bring it and educate and show. Yeah. I'm like, I don't got the money. I don't got the resources. I don't, I, I'm at, that's, that's some Kirk level stuff. No, 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 no. Go. Because it ain't necessarily you putting it on. It's knowledge is power, bro. Period. Yeah. Yeah. He had a, I just said he had a conversation with me to shift some things in my life. It wasn't like I got this play for you. No, it was a conversation that led me to plays. And so that's what it did for me. So when you said I learned more in a weekend or in a few months that I learned outside the church, it happened to me. And bro, I've been to church all my life. Oh, but it was outside people yeah. that honored my gift. Yeah. yeah. Paid me properly Talk for my gift. Talk about it. Yeah, And when Tim McGraw looked at us and said, this stage is our stage. I don't believe in me and Faith. No, y'all work the stage because they coming to see y'all just like they come to see us. Wow. I can't do this without y'all. This Tim McGraw. Him and Faith Hill are the emperor of country music. But you got church people who can't do this, you can't do this. Well, nah, wait. Come on, man. So... I remember seeing you out there. Yeah. I, I remember pulling up. Yeah. To open. I came to the bad boy show. I, I did too. With you. I did too. Yes. No, I didn't know he was on it. I, You know, when I when I yeah. pulled up in Oakland, I had no idea that you were on it. Right. They He don't realize why they're holding up the prayer. It wasn't for me. I'm back to this. They didn't hold up the prayer for me. I was with someone else. I ain't going to say his name, but they held the prayer up for him. Yeah. It's an important guy. But watch what I was right? able to do. <laughs> and... When we get in the circle, I look and I'm like, ah! <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> but bro, I was able to get Kirk to come to the Dallas show and pray over the tour before we went on stage. Wow. I was able to get Ty Trippett to come to the Orlando show and pray. Yeah. So I was still able to extend We're that doing, olive branch yeah. and bring. Kirk has never done anything for country. Uh, a group called. Uh, Oh, I don't want to call his name. I forgot the name. Uh, Lady Antebellum. They mm -hmm. changed their name recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They changed their name recently, uh, but they were Lady Antebellum. I had never even worked with them, but because I sang with Tim and Faith, they called me and asked me to put together some music for a performance for Country Music Honors. And they was like, yo, we would love to get, uh, we would love to get Kurt Franklin, but we don't know how. I said, I'll make the call. I called Kurt. And he came and did his first ever country music performance in front of a country music audience wow. in his career. That was because God had used me to get in that door. Yep. So you got to be that bridge. You, talk you yeah. to be that yeah. bridge. Yeah. You got to yeah. understand yeah. your purpose. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I'm fulfilled. So, bro, I'm not looking for the accolades of what people deem to be successful. Mm -hmm. Success for me yeah. is waking up, yeah. seeing my family. That's, yeah. that's I'm healthy. absolutely success. I'm healthy, bro. I'm 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 living a good life. I I can I I'm whole. I have the wherewithal to say, hey, my mom just passed. I'm struggling with that. I'm gonna go to counselor so I can make sure it doesn't set me back. Yeah. I got my faculties, man. I'm in my right mind. Mm -hmm. I got the activities in my limb. That's blessed, bro. Sure. That's success. Everything else is a byproduct of just living a blessed life. I got good friends. I got the right people around me. So I am by no means this model like. He must. He sound like he got it all together. No, I don't. I'm. I, I'm a flawed individual. My wife should have left me three times. Mm -hmm. You know, plenty of times. I've messed up. I've made mistakes just like anybody else does. But I understand. Steve Harvey told me this one time. He said, "Man, you have to love your good, your bad, and your ugly because they all make you who you are." Period. He said people only want to gravitate to the good. Steve Harvey told you that personally. He told me that to my face because I opened up for two of them. More, more holy water that he's pouring on us. Yeah. No, 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 no. Because that's not normal. That's well, not normal. Because I, I mean, I be reading his his, his little yeah. the tweets. Yeah, yeah. But he ain't never told me nothing personally. No, he told me that because I got a chance on my first solo album to open up. Yeah. For the Steve Harvey tour. Mm -hmm. John Key, Steve Harvey. His last comedy Kirk tour. Kirk Franklin. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> yes, you are. Kim Burrell. Puff Daddy. I'm blessed. Tim, Tim McGraw. McGraw. Faith Hill. Two years. Two, two years of tour. Two years Built of a house off I don't even know it. what that, that even means. Tank. Two years of tour. Jay Valentine. Yeah. 
No, you don't listen. Listen, it's, 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 you, gotta it's, it's, it. you don't have to include accept it. the flowers, brother. Say yeah. thank you. Say thank th- you. Th- yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, nigga. Good time, good time, good time. No, yeah, no, that, man. that's amazing. Bro. I'm blessed. That story bro. is incredible. So when that man told me that, it's because Kirk. Hey, I want you to, this is Steve's last tour. We doing a tour together. You got a new album out. Open up for the tour. I'm opening up for the Steve Harvey Kirk Franklin tour. Yes, <laughs> yeah. It's it's. Man, High level. it's outrageous the doors that I've been afforded, bro. Mm-hmm. And I believe that it's it's the good that you put out, it always comes back to you. Period. It, 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 it mm-hmm. just is what it is. I'm here. I'm in this seat because I believe the good I put out afforded y'all to be like, yeah, tell I, come on up. That's, all, that's the homie. Let's rock out with yeah. him. You know, I'm blessed to be here, bro, because people that don't know who I am go see me on R&B Money. They gonna see me, bro, and 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 I gotta be honest. I'm not arrogant enough to think everybody knows me. They don't. Seven billion people in the world. Mm-hmm. I don't got none of these plaques. The plaques I'm talking about is platinum, gold. <laughs> That's thank you. That's Jay. I don't have that. But you 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 been those are technically your plaques because you're part of the DNA that went into. Well, creating I'll this believe music. that when I can put that. When on you my get mind. one on your wall, okay, yeah. I'm gonna call somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna call somebody. <laughs> you, know, you know people. You, know people. you, know, you know what? I got an idea. What's the idea? We're gonna, we gonna tell it on the podcast. Yeah. We're gonna tell it later. Okay, no, we're gonna tell it right now. All right, all right. You should chain me, bro. R and B money. In parentheses, gospel. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <laughs> gospel. <laughs> hey man, you have no sense <laughs> at um, all. There's people that you can clearly see. Um, yeah, man, we've we've been through so 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 much. Yeah, we have. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's all been it's all been for a reason. It's all been for a reason. Like we're we are my 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 purpose, and I feel like all of us can say this is that. We're here to be of service, Absolutely. and through all of our stories, yeah. mm. it's that's what really connects us mm-hmm. yeah, as man. brothers. Yes, sir. Yeah. Y'all you know use my story against me, but it's it's, it's fine. No, you you it's fine. No, your story is fine. You helped all of us. I mean, you made me burn a lot of my Zara clothes, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, he burned your Zara clothes. Yeah. He burned your Zara clothes. I got a suit guy for you. You wear suits? Of course, I wear suits. I got a suit he guy for you. Your Zara clothes. I, got, I mean, man. I got a. I got a suit guy. No, but I got a suit yeah, guy. When, guy. I, when I show you my new yeah, suit, cool. But I got a suit guy. Guy. No, this ain't no church conversation. That's, that's, that's I got a suit guy. guy. My guy, Antar Lavar. Look up the name and call me later. My guy, you Rich think, Fresh. Look oh, up Rich my Fresh guy is amazing. And thank me later. He's amazing, but it's a different. It's a different. It's a different suit. Rich for the culture. He's that. But when you're going into some business meetings, and I'm not saying he can't do that because he's amazing. I've seen Which all one work. has shoulder pads in it? Uh, neither one of them. I don't think neither one. Yeah. No, they, okay. they, they, they're at another level at what they do. Okay. They're another level. And I'm, I'm about the black designer. Rich Fresh is amazing. Monster. But check out Antonio. Did you see the cover of R&B Money album? Come on, bro. Don't, why? I'm just I'm, no, I'm just having you just just dial that back up in your yeah, mind. Right. Did you see that? Did you, did you see the album? Well, you don't, you don't, I was about to ask the question. Church boy. Did you see, did you see the reset album? You don't remember cover? Your, I don't yeah. remember your cover. You ain't see my cover? I don't, I don't remember your cover. That oh, mean, wow. That so means it, your wasn't, suit, it wasn't memorable? That means Make your sure suit y'all flash the cover, okay? The suit, <laughs> your, your suit, sure. what, I he wants suit to show his it. cover. I'm just saying, bro, like, you saw it's my, enough for everybody. You saw that Amarillo? <laughs> Take it's enough for everybody, though. It is enough. It is enough. So, so, so like my class. Like, I'll check your guy out. Yeah. All right. I already know Rich, so trust me. All right. Um, We're going to continue to... um. Get you uh, fired on from the church okay, cool. by diving into your R and B mind, uh, yeah. Yeah. even further. Yeah, yes. further than where you know what? You know no, what? not that far. Right. <laughs> Here we go. You P Bar, <laughs> you P Valley far. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, let's get into your R and B information, brother. Okay. Um, I want to know your top five. R and B artists, male of or all female. time, male or female, doesn't matter. Wow. Doesn't matter. Order doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter. Okay. Mm-mm. Number one. Now, y'all, if if, if y'all don't consider them R and B, listen, yeah, this is your list. It's your list, brother. Okay. Your list. 
I gotta go Stevie. Mm. It's absolutely R and B. Okay. Mm -hmm. I gotta go Donny Hathaway. Oof. It's getting ugly. Stevie, uh, Donny. I gotta go Michael Jackson. Hmm. Come on. Well, you Come on, little Michael Jackson out of yeah. Gary, Indiana. You're yeah. out of control. I gotta go Beyonce. Oof. Come on, B. Come on now. And um uh I gotta go Aretha Franklin. Oh. I gotta go Aretha. That list is strong. Ooh, that's a strong oh, list. Yeah. That's a that's a list. That's a list. All powerhouses. Oh. Yeah. And all changed the game. Yes. Yes. All has to this from that day to this present moment, all of them's fingerprint is on the game right now. Mm -hmm. I argue with you not, my friend. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You did that. You did that. Yeah, yeah. Your top five songs your mama would let you listen to. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure that's out how to good, word Jay. It. Was Jay, to what a minute. Word. Jay, that's good. I was trying to figure out how to wear it. I got you, mama. Mama. Boy, you're quick, boy. You're quick on your feet. <laughs> I, I, I got you, man. I got you. I got you. Top five RB songs your mama wouldn't let you listen to. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I got to go with uh, Michael Jackson, Remember the Time. Mm. Shout out to Teddy mm. Riley. Teddy Riley. Shout out to Teddy Riley. <laughs> yes. I got to go with, um, I'm, about to, I'm about to trip you out on this one. I'm about, I got to go Stevie Wonder, If It's Magic. Hmm. You ever heard that song? No. Oh, Tank. Give us some of it. Give us some of it. Well, let me say this. I could sing it. I can sing it. But it's lyrically... Incredible. I don't want to mess up those lyrics, but okay. bro, it is one of the most dynamic songs hmm. I probably ever heard in my life. Okay, Stevie One. That was it that the first song? That's the two. That's, that's two. Number two. Okay. Number three, uh Donny Hathaway song for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Easy. Uh, easy money. <sighs> number four. Uh Whitney Houston, what was the song I had? Uh, she has so many, but it was, oh my God, what's the song, guys? Whitney Houston, it wasn't Saving All My saving Love all For my You. Love. Mm. The performance on that song? Really? Tonight is the night. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. And then... Um, Number five. Ooh, that song was amazing. Jesus. Number five. I gotta go with uh interesting enough. I'm gonna go with uh the gap band yearning. Mmm. Gap band yearning. No argument. Wow. No argument. Yeah. Ooh. Yearning. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah. on yearning. Yeah. You can't keep running it out of my life. <laughs> It's a great lyric. Oh, bro. That's a great lyric. That's a great lyric. You want to dissect that lyric? <laughs> yeah, we, we, but, but I ain't going to lie though, bro. <laughs> Man. To me, that's a gospel song. Let me tell you why. If you looked at that. I, I flipped it. If, flipped. Bro, that's God saying to us. Yeah, you can't it keep running yeah. in that night of my life. Yeah, I flipped that at church. Yeah. yeah, I've been Make a decision. It. My heart. Come on now. Is yearning for your love. Dog, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Real vocals here on our Real vocals. podcast. Real vocals. Real vocals. Real live goats. You heard them. Ah, you heard them. Ah, you heard them. <laughs> Real live goats in here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, R and B Voltron. We're gonna put you gonna put your 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 Voltron R&B singer together, vocals, uh, performance style, styling, and passion. Who are you getting a vocal from? Ooh, this is crazy. I'm getting the vocal. God almighty, bro. I'm gonna take Jasmine Sullivan's vocals. Mm. I'm coming hard. Mm. I'm taking Jasmine. I'm out the gate. Yeah. Ooh. Out the door. <laughs> Jasmine. 
Who's performing style? Beyonce. Mm. Yeah. Beyonce. Jazz with a B? Just kidding. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. Styling. Who you want them to look like? Well, they going to put them threads on. Mm. Hmm. They got they, they got to look like the goat. They got to look like MJ. In terms of lights, camera, action, ah. every child had a got to have a costume. Every, a glove, every every jacket had a the sock, glove, the hat, the jacket, the hat, the penny loafer. Like we can nobody, simple. nobody will ever, ever, ever match that. Everybody either wanted or had a jacket with ten thousand zippers. Ten thousand. You know what that is when you see? Did you have one? You didn't have one. Though. I, I, we couldn't, couldn't afford, afford it. it. Yeah, I had one. You had one? Yeah. You definitely had one. I definitely had one. Your parents got it for you? You jealous? Your parents, <laughs> <laughs> your parents got it for you? Are you still? Yeah. Hey, what, man? I wasn't still. You know what? You had a bike business when you was nine. I did have a bike business. That's, oh, a, that's oh. a whole nother story. Oh, you've been an entrepreneur from day one. Oh, no. Period. Absolutely, I'm. Right. I'm gonna find it. Yeah, so MJ, <laughs> you, you got, you got, you got, you got to have style like MJ. Four. Who are you getting the heart from? The passion. Eesh. The passion. Oh my God. I'm. I think I'm gonna have to take. Uh, I'm gonna have to take Aretha's passion. I don't know he's gonna say that. Yeah, I, have, I don't know he's gonna to. say that. Yeah. I knew he was gonna say that. Can't yeah. go to the Grammys and uh, Papa, was it Papa, Papa, uh, the opera singer. Uh-huh. Uh huh. How you Papa Roddy? Papa Roddy. Papa Roddy. Papa Roddy. He lost his voice. He can't sing. And in sound check, they like ask you, "Can you do it?" <laughs> right. Is that like, what happened? Oh yeah. That's crazy. They asked in sound check. Can you I think do I heard that. He lost his voice. And she said, "Give me a minute." She learned it in sound check and smashed it on the show that night. And she had never done it in in the other language. That's passion. That, that's that's what I call. It. She cared. She right. Cared. That's care, bro. You let me tell you something. You can't care and get away with it. Somebody got to pay for care. You can, bro. When you care, you got me. Mm. You got me at hello. Mm. A lot of people don't care. A lot of people just go with the gift. But when you care, yeah. mm. it hit different. It hit different when you care, bro. Cause it comes from a different place. It, 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 it you pull from a different whale. Yeah. Yeah, man. So. Wow. Aretha. I think, I think, I think that person. They, they. Out of this world. They out of this world, bro. Yeah. That's a good Voltron. I like your style. It's a great Voltron. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we also have a segment of the show. Oh, God. This is Jay's segment. Yeah. Messy. What are you <laughs> doing this, man? <laughs> Supposed to be brothers. We're not brothers. Listen, man, it's a very, very important part of the show. Okay. It's called I Ain't Saying No Names. Oh, God. No and in this story, it can either be funny or messed up. I like how you did that. See how it. I I've like how never that. said that word. Never said that word. <laughs> I, I have not cursed one time. This episode. Hmm. Why is it this is the, Yes. No, listen, listen. I am respecting. Because you cuss all the time you call I, me. We ain't on the phone right now. <laughs> 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 we in front of them people. Right? We in front of them people. <laughs> we in front of the new faith. <laughs> new faith Baptist Church. <laughs> Tabernacle. Some of the people. Not curse one time. Good job. Good job, Jay. Thank you, brother. Good job. Congratulations. I'm, I'm, I might have cursed last shit. I don't know. Hey man, just this, this time. So no, nope, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna make it through. <laughs> I'm gonna this make a, it through. This is the first time ever, huh? Ever, bro. Ever. I, I can, I ask, can I ask you why? I like to cuss. No, no. <laughs> I'm asking you why you haven't cussed. Like, you know, you didn't have to change for me. I know. I know. So what? what you know what? I, just, I like to challenge myself. Mm -hmm. I like I like your style, guy. But it's I like also, but it's also I think it's also what you said too. It's a reverence to the people who are watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's you know like listen to the people I, you bring I, to the table. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's a shirt. 
Nah, I've cursed in way Wait. silkier shirts. <laughs> 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 Well, me and my community, we thank you. Um, some of them cusses still love Jesus, but <laughs> it's all good, man. Yeah, man. You don't ever have to. You don't ever have to dumb down. Who? Not dumb, but you don't have to do that. But I, I, I honor that. I honor that. That's my cool. guy, man. It's all good. Yeah. So the story can either be funny or messed up. Okay. Or both, funny and messed up. Mm. The only rule to the story is that you can't. Say the names. You can't say the people that's involved. No names. So this is Isaac Carees, Isaac Kyrie Irving. <laughs> the earth is definitely flat. <laughs> this is Isaac Carees. I ain't saying no names. So the time that Lil Well and Zacardi, no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, man. Well, so totally he, joking. He early. <laughs> right, totally joking. Okay, I'm not saying no names. Mm. Go with me. Yeah. All right. So there was a time I was uh, doing a show, and I was on the road with someone else. And in the middle of the show, while they were performing, uh, yeah, they they shot it on themselves. Did they have on white? Uh, yeah. No. What? Yeah, they shot it on themselves, and it it. it it got bad. And I'm a person that y'all know me, but for anybody out there who don't know me, which is probably a lot of people. You can't help yourself. I can't hold my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just a laugh, it's not a, it's a I'm weeping. It's, <laughs> like I'm a crier. I'm a, I'm a crier and I'm weeping. Like, like Jesus was in the back of the boat. Just he, he did say Jesus wept. Shortest Bible verse of the Bible. I was weeping, bro. I could not. I could not get myself together, and it wasn't. And they couldn't get they off the stage. No, so they they eventually got off the stage. But when I tell you about how they got the stage, it was down the leg. It was a <laughs> it was down the leg. <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, show. They didn't know it was wet. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I just know it was bad, bro. It was bad, and I was like, wow. And I never forgot that moment. And me and a couple of my friends, we laugh about that to this day. Wow! But it was bad, bro. Yeah, that would be that. Would, that would be tough. That would be tough to get through. Like, I know me. I would have to be like, "Hey, hey, guys, we're gonna be right back." <laughs> yeah, no, it was <laughs> clean up on my phone. And, and, and the walk off was stiff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you stiff in the walk. It's, it's done. Already, it's already loose it's now. Already loose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the walk off is stiff because <laughs> there was more. There was more to get. I mean, it's just like you oh, know. Oh man, it's kind of like it's oh, on yeah. you, doc. It's on it's you, like, doc. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 I've been there. Yeah, man. Not, not on stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been there that on not stage. Not on stage, but, God knows. Know. I've been there that on stage too. Yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's, been it, a shard in my ministry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, a few times. <laughs> Dog, I'm telling you. Oh, that's just a regular old poop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Tank, what I tell you. Man, no. That happened to me one time. Man. That happened to me one time. And, bro, I'm going to tell them, I'll come on name. <laughs> as much as I talk about people, the art of it is you got to be able to take it. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I was at my pastor's house. Me, my wife, and my daughter for like a 4th of July Memorial Day cookout or something. Hung out all day. They live far from me. They live like at Alpharetta. I live in, you know, on the other side of Atlanta, Peachtree City, Fayetteville area. So it's like a 45, 50 minute drive home. So I pull out there, subdivision, go out there, gate, boom. And I get to like, the light, and I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna make it home. <laughs> but when I left the house, I was fine. Bro, when I pulled out that driveway, <laughs> I was fine. I was like, and then how do you pull back up to somebody's house and say, I just need to go so blow your I bathroom? I called my up, wife, right? my wife and my daughter in a car ahead of me because we didn't ride together because I was coming from somewhere else when I met them there. Yeah. So I called her and said, Hey, call them, tell them I need to come use the bathroom. Like, I got to come. And so she was like, All right. I said, No, no, no. I'm not going to make it home. Call them now. So I done turned around, went back in the gate, and I'm at the door like. 
everybody's still in the backyard. Then I run back up to the car and I'm just like fidgeting. And I'm like, they not answering. So my wife called me like, they didn't answer. They didn't answer. What's going on? I said, I can't. I would go back, ring the doorbell. <laughs> Nobody coming to the door. And on their porch, on my pastor's porch, <laughs> on the man of God's porch. No way. On the, on the chief apostle's <laughs> porch. The bishop. Yeah, doc. Well, well, if they say what's in you, go come out. <laughs> and it did. Wow. Wow. And I did that stiff walk back to my car. And by the end, my wife and my daughter pulling up. So mind you, we chilling that day. I got on flops. So I had these Nike flip flops. <laughs> and all my wife and daughter saw when they pulled up, I was on the other side of the truck. My <laughs> Nike flip flops had a little curve, like the little toe was up like that. <laughs> They saw the Nike flip flops on the ground. <laughs> and these, these niggas, they videotaping. <laughs> and my daughter, Mama, look at daddy's shoes. Why are your shoes leaning up like that? And I'm on the other side, just trying to clean up <laughs> what I messed up. No way. <laughs> Starting my life over again. Can't spiritual shout out. Yeah, uh, no. It was bad, bro. So we've all had a. We've all had a day. Yeah, mine, mine happened during a master cleanse. Uh, master what? Master cleanse. Oh yeah. With the master. Oh cleanse, yeah, you can't play with those. Master cleanse, you got to do, you got to do like it's two cups of sea salt water. Ooh. So you got to down the whole. It's in the morning, first thing in the morning. You got to down the whole two cups of sea salt and water. That, it, and I'd never done it before. That thing come out like so. So up. <laughs> that thing come out like. How did it come? How we get here? You know he laughing so hard. He laughing so hard. He know he laughing. Say, shh. Shh. That thing come out. Let me, let me find out you went to go hoop. <laughs> He's right. I was sitting on my couch. I didn't know. Oh, God. I didn't know. I want to know. I didn't know. I didn't know. He said, shh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. I can't. <laughs> when we. <laughs> oh my God. What was that? Oh my God. I didn't, cry, know. Bro. I didn't know that oh it did God, that. Oh my God, that's so stupid. I had no idea. Yeah, Doc. That was best. So Jay, so, we know you didn't have a day. No, I, I have wow. That's why this is so wild to me. Oh, man. Jay. Hey, listen, man. I'm going to go find a bathroom. I don't know what y'all well, be let doing. Let me just say this to I'm you. I'm not pulling off. I'm not doing that. Hey, listen, man. I got three words for you. What was that? Keep on living. <laughs> keep on living. <laughs> there will come a time. Oh, it's going to come a time. There and you going to call him like, nigga. <laughs> you jinxed it. <laughs> man. That it's all is, over my silk shirt. Yeah. Now, man, I, it's all over my silk shirt. Man, no, bro. What are we doing? <laughs> no. Remember the sound. <laughs> no, I don't want to. No, that's sea salt. You know what? You know what? Since you putting, you putting that evil on me, Ricky Bobby, hey, hey. you know what? <laughs> Put that on me. Before you leave. Oh, no, no. I need to know about the recording. Of R. Kelly on your remix. Wow. wow. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Listen, listen well, you know what? Yeah. I was not, I was gonna let you out of here. But you know I'm not gonna let you out of here now. But this is before the Me Too movement, man. I hear you. I want the story. Okay. The story. How does mm -hmm. Rob end up on the remix to clean this house? Yeah, so <clears throat> That also sounds like trapped in the closet. Definitely sounds like twelve. Trapped. Yeah, we definitely channel. <laughs> we definitely trapped in the closet. We, twelve. We definitely channel trapped in the closet. So big shout out to Lil Ronnie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our and, brother. Our brother. Shout yeah, out to Ronnie. Little shout out. Big shout out to Lil Ronnie and uh, Phil. Phil. Um, Philip Cornish. Okay. Phil. Oh, Phil. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. So Phil and Ronnie uh, came up with that whole concept and. I did the album, bro. We put the we put the song out, and it took off. People was like, "Oh my god!" So people would literally, when we serve service at the radio, shot to the top of the charts immediately, and people were like, "R. Kelly did a gospel song." R. Kelly did a gospel song. R. You know, and I was like, I've never had nobody tell me I sounded like R. Kelly. I still don't really think I sounded like mm -hmm. R. Kelly, but for whatever reason, I think it was a combination of the way I sang it with the track, 
So did it. Took off going, 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 going. Well, Ronnie had a relationship with Rob because he had done uh, flirt. Same Girl. Flirt. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same Girl. Same, same girl. girl. And they had done some other stuff. Yeah. Uh, I think he did I'm a Flirt too. Yep, he did I'm a Flirt. Yeah. So Ronnie, you know, Ronnie had records with, with Rob. So they were cool. So Ronnie said, all right, if they talking about the best, let's go get the best. I said, well, <laughs> that's your call because I don't got his number. Yeah. Ronnie made the call. We went to Chicago. And when we got to the studio, we had to go to Chicago. We went to the studio. <clears throat> we got there. He said, be there. They said, be there 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Not 11 a.m. No, no, no. no. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. PM. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So we get there at 11 p.m. You know, go in, sign in, whatever. We wait. And he's like, he'll be with you shortly. Shortly was an hour and a half later. So now Maybe it's 1230 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. So when he comes out, he was like, yeah, man. So uh, you know before we do the music, y'all got to go party with me. He don't take the gospel yeah, singer to party for anything. So I'm like, Ronnie, like, I was like, you know, yeah, yeah, we get, we get, that's how I get into my thing, you know, got a party. I said, go. Cool. So we go, get in the car, all the way there, he playing music, unreleased music. He's been working on country record, this record. I'm like, songs or albums? Songs, but it's several. Okay. But he's going, you know, yeah, his yeah, playlist. Yeah. I'm like, you know, this dude, get there, he come in, you know, he got a section. He he robbed. Everybody on him. He's smoking a cigar. He's doing his thing. We there about an hour and a half. Get in the car, go back to get back to the studio. And he tell his engineer, yeah, 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 pull that out. Pull that out. He had already done the song. <laughs> <laughs> so the man wanted me to go to the club because he ain't got no friends. <laughs> the man wanted me to go to the club because he had no friends that he trusted. Man. He had already done the song. He had already recorded the song because I didn't change my part. I, I kept my verse. He, we took the second verse out. We had already pulled it. The track was set up for him. Ronnie had already re, you know, revamped the track for his part. All he had to do was do his verse. He didn't need me. He had already done it. <laughs> yeah, so play that. So they play it. So I'm like, like, yo, this is about to be stupid. He killed it. He's like, yeah, I need, I, I, now on this part, I want you to go in there and, and, and kind of... Uh, Ad lib to what I'm doing, kind of follow me. So I'm like, all right. So I, I did something, and he was like, "Nigga, you sound like you got a flute in your throat." Cause I did a run. <laughs> that nigga got a flute in his throat. Everybody died. <laughs> so I do it, bro. And I'm thinking it's over. R. Kelly is on this song that everybody thinks is R. Kelly. Right. So the plan is, we go drop the remix. We about to set it up. Well, the most interesting thing is at the same time Clean This House was climbing the charts, Rob had just released the album Black Panties. Mm. Mm. So he's out marketing radio and people are asking him, yo, bro, you got this song that you own Clean This House, man. Like, yeah, did that for a friend, Lil Ronnie. But yeah, this Black Panties. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't talk about it. He wouldn't talk about it. He wouldn't push it because he was pushing his own. And the remix didn't do anything, but the song went to the top of the chart. So program directors was like, yeah, we like your version better anyway. But that was my experience. And uh, wow. he was cool. Yeah, I, I didn't see any foul play, though. Me, it wasn't nothing done. I just didn't see it. And um, my experience, I played ball with him a couple of times. Uh, super cool. But um, he's still the GOAT. Flaws and all. You can't deny, you can't deny the work. And I kind of feel bad, like... I ain't put him in my list because he's still that guy. But, you know. Wow. That's the music. That's the music. The See man. <clears throat> yeah, I don't subscribe to that. Clean this house. Yeah. Yeah. From the inside out. Because mm -hmm. yeah. usually when you clean the house, you might find some black panties. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tank. I almost got through the whole thing. <laughs> <and Tank>. <laughs> I am Tank. <laughs> Man. I'm Jay Valentine. You know, who, <laughs> uh, give me that great goose. You better make me drink. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have been blessed um, man, beyond measure. Beyond measure. That's a church. Phrase. Look at me. Look at look wow. at. <laughs> that, wait, I, I didn't know you had that in you. Beyond, beyond measure. Beyond measure. Phrase. Yeah. Um, by our brother, our friend, yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, vocal theologian. Yeah, the incomparable. Wow. The incomparable. Wow. Um, you are him. Wow. I had I just I we were just I was just hosting a club in Atlanta mm -hmm. and, and he, he, he blessed us with his presence and I looked at him while I was singing this particular song and I was like he's like, No, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I said, 
you're going to sing on this song, <laughs> Isaac Curry. <laughs> and you're going to sing it good. And I humbled myself. And in the middle of this club that was, you know, it's a club. Yeah. They don't, they don't know who Isaac Curry is. At all. But I promise you this. When he finished singing, they, knew exactly they absolutely was. wanted to know yeah. who he was. Yeah. And I looked at the bank and was like, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> now that you've done that. <laughs> um, thank you, man. Man, honor, yeah. bro. Thank you, as always, man, for, for being an up. inspiration, um, for being a brother to us, to man. To both of us, absolutely. And uh, um, for giving us, giving us gems, man. Man. Giving us insight, giving us the lessons. I mean, because... Yeah. Making it practical is very hard. Yeah. 100%. Making all of that make sense in real life Yeah, is difficult, and you yeah. do that well. Yeah, no, I would go to your church. Yeah. I would. Yeah. I would go to your church. I don't like the way you looked at me when no, I no, said no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's good, because that means uh, that I'm learning, I'm doing well. So when you come to Atlanta, mm -hmm. I need you to come to my church. And I'm not the pastor, mm -hmm. but my pastor's cool, and he's a dude that you'll rock with. We'll, stop he, we'll come to him. He's he, he chilly. Mm-hmm. No gam no gimmicks, no games. He's he's a he's a he's a thinker. One of the greatest communicators of our time. Love it. So uh, yeah. So I'm gonna hold you to that. Nah. Come on, man. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this has been Isaac R -E -B Money on the Army Money yes, Podcast. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>